start by introducing yourself. Um, maybe start by saying your name and then answering, what do you do at the spot? I'm Michaela Hopper and I'm a copywriter. Why do you enjoy working at the squad? Hmm. I like working at the squad because it's fun. We incorporate our families into a lot of events and it's a pretty relaxed environment, but we value our work. Where are you from? I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Man, <laughs> when I was six years old, I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, and my dad told me I couldn't be because he didn't want me to go to outer space. But then it changed from an astronaut to chemistry and then I went to high school and took an awesome AP psych class. So I studied psychology and communication um, in college and did not become an astronaut or a chemist. Now I'm a writer. If you could live anywhere, where would you be? Hmm. Italy. I studied abroad. Um, in college and love Florence, Italy. If you could swap places with anyone on the squad for a day, who would it be? Ooh. Maybe Glenn. Um, he goes out and has a lot of meetings with cool clients and he gets to form relationships and that's something that I like to do and so he seems like he's got a pretty good fun job. What's the funniest joke you know? Oh my gosh. I don't know any jokes. Um, like, I can't think of a joke. It's <laughs> totally fine. What's the best concert you've ever been to? Oh my gosh. Justin Timberlake. Um, I think it was 2014. He came to the Yum Center and we had pretty good seats on like one of the lower levels, and that was his concert where like this huge platform that he was on top of came through the whole audience and then stopped like right in front of us. We made eye contact um, and a couple was engaged at that show too. Like some guy somehow got a hold of Justin Timberlake's people and he brought them up on stage and was jumping up and down. It was, it was the best concert ever. What's the best meal you've ever eaten? Ooh meal. Um, I'll have to think about this one. I've had a lot of good meals. Oh my gosh. Um, Venice, Italy. They Someone created tiramisu in Venice and we went one day and had tiramisu and bellinis which were also I think created in Venice and that was like at 3 p.m. we had dessert and wine, but it was the best thing I've ever tasted. What are you currently binge watching? Um, currently, Parks and Rec. What's the coolest thing you're working on right now? Since I write different blogs every week, I just, I just wrote one um, for one of our clients, Agent Link, about the latest in healthcare industry news. That was something that you know, I'd heard about, but didn't know a lot of in-depth information about, so that one was really cool to research and write about. Who's your least favorite superhero? What? <sighs> um, least favorite... I'm not super knowledgeable on all of the superheroes, and the ones that I do know things about, I like them all. Maybe. Iron Man, even though I like the Iron Man movies, he's pretty, and it's just Robert Downey Jr.'s character probably, but he's pretty cocky. What do you order at a coffee shop? Um, usually, um, I like things with caramel, so like caramel frappuccinos or caramel lattes. What was the worst pet you ever had? <laughs> Aww. We had a corgi when I was growing up. He was really sweet. We named him Teddy. He lived to be about 10 years old, but I mean, from the beginning, he was an old grumpy dog. And he only liked my mom. He didn't like anyone else. He wouldn't listen to anyone else but my mom. So 
He was cute, but really annoying. <laughs> Are you a plant person? Um, I like plants, but I really can't keep them alive. I killed one succulent, so that's my extent in plant life. <laughs> what is what was your best Halloween costume? Uh, I really don't have a best one. A funny one that comes to mind, I think I, when I was eight or nine, I painted myself green as a witch. So that was interesting. Do you have a personal blog? No, no personal blog. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. What have you waited in line for the longest? Hmm. Probably concerts. Um, there was a 21 Pilots concert. I always think like I'll get there in time if it's like standing room only venue and always I'm like yeah an hour two hours that's plenty of time and then lines are wrapped around buildings so I wait a lot for concerts. Cool. So that wraps that up. Cool. Yep. Okay. What do I do with this?